All right, welcome back to Ron's Garage. A uh, couple updates. Uh, I uh, I still haven't figured this out yet. These these lights, uh, the foam I was going to use, the strips. Um, these things here, uh, it just doesn't work. Um, they don't sit right. They look ugly. They look cheap, and shoddy. So. Uh, I'm going to nix that plan. Uh, instead, on Amazon, I found some high-density foam. Uh, I got uh, seven millimeter thick. Uh, Ten bucks comes in a sheet of like, uh, I don't know, uh, I think it's 15 inches by 40 inches, something like that, uh, black. So those I can lay out, trace around these things, and cut out a basically a gasket, like, like, like making a gasket. So... I'll be doing that. It's supposed to be here today sometime. We'll see. It's uh, it's uh, almost 4 o'clock now, so <clears throat> we'll see when it gets here. Um, I did go ahead and mount the brake light switch. I mounted it there. Uh, got my thing on there so I could test it, and it works. Uh, I was going to put it way down there uh, on that fitting and the, and the brake line going to the back brakes, but the tubing... The fittings are the wrong size for the T I got. So I just stuck it in here. I just had to make a little little section to go in there. Uh, and it works great. It'll keep itself bled, uh, I believe, by going up back through the master cylinder. Uh, but there's no air going to get into it anyway, I don't think. Uh, so there's that. Uh, like I said, I have uh, some stuff on order. Got a, a long water pump coming and a different alternator bracket for a long water pump. Uh, that'll fix those problems. I have the pulleys uh, for the long water pump down there. Uh, so once I get those, I can paint everything. I'm gonna try to maybe take the carburetor off and the valve covers off and uh, shoot some more Chevy Orange on that intake and on the at least on the front of the motor. Uh, paint the water pump black, repaint the pulleys black. I'm going to paint the alternator black. Uh, I did do some buffing on it with a wire wheel, uh, and it does come out nice. So I think that'll paint up pretty nice. So we'll see. Um, but then I can uh, put all the front of the motor back together, uh, get some spark plugs, change all the plugs, so I can put this side back in uh, and uh, do a test fire once I get some wiring done. Uh, so I am continuing on the wiring, although it doesn't seem like it. Uh, I took the tank out of it. Uh, let me show you this thing. Uh, guys, the guy I got it from said that the guy he got it from was building a race car. Look at that gas tank. I never really understood the scope of how big that tank was. Uh, I took the dimensions off of it, and uh, it works out to 36 gallons. I've never seen a race car gas tank that big. Uh, so, but I did go ahead and cut the hole, uh, for the, uh, fuel sending unit. And I tapped those little holes, put the, put the screws in. Uh, I took the top off here, the filth neck, um, cause I'm going to take this to the house tonight with me and then either tonight or tomorrow, rinse it out with some water. Cause there's a lot of crud in this thing, a lot of crud. You would not believe how much stuff is laid in the bottom of this tank. Uh, and most of it looks like plastic where they cut the hole for there and drill holes and they just never cleaned it out afterwards. So I'm going to do that. Uh, then I'll clean it and I'll reinstall it and put the sending unit in. Now the sending unit is using the little chart that came on the instructions. I've got it extended out as far as I can make it without drilling holes and putting new screws in, putting screws in other places. Uh, and that's right at where the, where the chart says to put it. So I just have to cut this piece uh, to fit. Uh, I forget what it says in the chart. I'll look at it later. Um, so, but yeah, this is part of the electrical. I want as much electrical components put on the car uh, as I can before I actually start running wires. I don't want to run deadheaded wires. I'd rather run a wire to something 
then coil up the end of it and say, okay, this is for that. I know I'm going to have to do that in some places, but I'd rather just have everything done. So, uh, it is Friday. Um, uh, I had today off, but I didn't get to spend a lot of time over here a little bit. I'll be back over tomorrow and probably Sunday. Uh, and then, uh, and uh, make some progress so that's kind of where I am right now just a short little update um, the heaters working great uh, it's not cold outside today it's probably in 45 or so right outside right now but it's comfortable in here which is a good thing oh I did put up another shelf right there so I could mount my speakers and I've got a Sirius XM radio in my truck, and they sent me back a while back. They sent me this base station for free, um, which I've never used. So I put it in here, and I just bring my radio in from the truck and plug it right in. And I have tunes or comedy or whatever I want to listen to out here with me now. So, yay. But yeah, I could not get over the size of that tank. Yeah, I'm, I'm fixing, wiring up, bundling it up. I've still got a lot to do. See that rat's nest down there? I uh, gotta coil all that up. Uh, and I gotta do some work in here. Uh, you probably can't see it much, but right in through here, um, there's a, it, if this was upright, it would be raised, but it catches on the tank. Uh, and there's a couple other little places I gotta grind down a little bit. And then these, these braces for under the tank. Uh, once I get the tank sitting back in there again, I'll, re I'll drill all four of these and put bolts in them. Right now, there's nothing holding them in. They were just sitting there. I thought they were welded, but they aren't. Uh, and that's okay. You know, it's you know. I bought the car expecting to have to do a lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff I'm doing. So, hopefully tomorrow I'll come over here and put these, put the foam. The gaskets on these lights and those will be completely done uh, and I'll bring the tank back and probably let it sit for a few days and just let it completely dry out uh, before I put that back in there I just got to rinse all that crud out of it so but then once that's done I can put some fresh gas in it and turn the motor over and work the fresh gas through the lines up into this filter and catch as much as I can there. Then I'll change the filter, pull the top off the carb, clean it out. Uh, probably take the carb off when I do that so I can spray the engine. Uh, we'll see. We will see. So that's where I am right now. I know it's been a little while since I posted one. Uh, not been able to do a lot here, but I got this weekend. It should look, uh, look pretty good for us. So anyway. That's it for now. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I did. And uh, have a nice weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.